Some say November is too early to talk about relegation six-pointers, but when the bottom three are falling as far adrift in the Skybet Championship as they are, a meeting between two of them at this time of year is as important as any other time. It's the fight for survival already in November as Rotherham hosts Queen's Park Rangers. The visitors have a new man steering the ship as Halloween signing Marty Cisfentes looks to exercise the ghosts and demons from his new side and end their six-game losing streak. It would be the perfect way to kick off his time as Rangers boss. one over the head of Dykes, a little sloppy up towards the centre forward. Cannon switches it across, it's a lovely ball that neat control by Chair as well. Wants to cut inside onto the right boot and have a go! Oh, it wasn't too far away either, he feels it took a deflection. coming together as Hugo perhaps with a flailing arm just catching the Irish centre-back in the meantime his teammate Kenneth Powell just brings a bit of order and possession once again to Queen's Park Rangers up towards Dykes move wide by Elijah Dixon Bonner and there's support as well on the overlap from Cannon it's straight into the hands of the goalkeeper just a little bit too close in the end Growing in confidence, though, the visitors. They're doing more with the possession that they have. Being pulled back there on Yedimma. After he did really well to escape two challenges. Will be Rotherham's most creative spark this season, really Cafu to fire it in. Looking for that knob back across goal. Morrison flicking it on as well. Tihi trying to get onto it. Able to pull something at it as well. It was slow and laboured, but it almost caught Asmir Begovic off guard. Everybody, I think, expecting a free kick. And the 25-year-old just keeping his cool, keeping his balance. And wasn't far away. Lovely touch from Klukas. Hugo wanting some support on Yedimba. Trying to create some space, good save by Begovic, got two hands behind it. Palmed it straight out into the 18-yard box, but did his best. I think he was just caught by surprise with the effort. As on Yedimba goes close. Looking, 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 and just got a half sight at goal. Found a little channel. Could do with getting him involved more higher up the pitch, Kenneth Powell. He's had his shooting boots on this season. Goals against Sunderland and Coventry back in September. Scored against Cardiff as well in August. Not a bad return for a left-back this early on in the campaign. Not take anybody finding an effort on goal right now, including this man, Dykes, who's yet to really have a shot. Field lays it off. Willock. Chet. He worked into the gap. 
back again to Cher. Lovely little reverse pass. And he has another go. That's exactly what he can do. You cannot afford to give him that sort of space on the edge of the area. Elias Cher. Always a threat in those sorts of positions. The best move of the game so far for Cruz Park Rangers. It's a lovely pass back into his feet as well. Shimmy onto the right boot. He showed a threat of it in the first 45 minutes with his strike that whistled past the post. This one nestles into the top corner. Will it? Cannon back to Elijah Dixon Bonner. Going to be kept alive by Cannon, may well be. Dixon Bonner, off the post. Johansson got a hand on it, and it ricocheted off the woodwork and somehow escapes away to safety. Here come Rangers again. Smith sends it in this time. It's going to beat almost everybody. May have ricocheted off chair last. He's gone behind for a corner, in fact. Lyndon Dykes was close to it. across the penalty area. Just about kept alive by Richie Cannon and Elijah Dixon Bonner. That's well worked by Paul Smith once more. Oh, trying the trickery and the almost no-look pass looking for Chris Willett. Rathbone. The playmakers for Rotherham need to build something here. Bramall, first chance to really stretch his legs with the ball at his feet. It's good service as well. Just looking a little stiff, perhaps. He's slow to react there, which allows Georgie Kelly to bring it under and win a free kick. It's the outswinger of the defender. It's a great ball! Oh, what a finish! Super sub to say the least, Georgie Kelly! It's all about the delivery, though, from the defender. Drops it, and he's battling and battling with his man, Kelly. It's an emphatic finish. No chance for Begovic. Towards Kelly, able to win the aerial battle. And the kisser turns away. Rathbone just gets the call and goes back to the defender, Bramall. Didn't trying to keep it alive. Somehow he does, and almost flashes it across the six yard box. Behind, another corner to come. And work here from Fred on Yudimba. There were plenty waiting for it. Who's going to take? There's a chance suddenly for Rangers to come the other way here. Chair releasing Willock. End-to-end -end stuff as Willock tries to finish it off and it takes a deflection. And Johansson's happy to collect. So close, just in the last few minutes. Look at this space suddenly. The Dauphin hand inside the area. He's cannoned it straight into the upright. Well worked by Chet. Oh, great save by Johansson again. And that one's just wide of the post. Once more from the Rotherham keeper. What a first touch that would have been for Charlie Kelman. And then the follow-up just goes sliding wide of the target. 
the substitute just getting in front of his man may have actually come off Bramwell last. We played the seven minutes. And that is the full-time whistle here at the ACL New York Stadium. A point of peace for the Skybet Championship strugglers. It's a point that Rotherham will certainly welcome, considering they fell behind early in the second half. After Elias Chet made Queen's Park Rangers the opening goal of the game on 50 minutes with a sublime strike from the edge of the 18-yard box. But substitute Georgie Kelly with an equally emphatic equaliser 20 minutes from time, ensuring that Rotherham earned a share of the spoils. Marty Cifuentes, his first game in charge of Queen's Park Rangers, but at full time here in Rotherham, it finishes Rotherham United 1, Queen's Park Rangers 1.